Hi teachers, I believe that during your Teach From Home session, you will surely use Google Form to give out homework, quizzes, or questions to your students. And at this moment, you might realize that Google Form does have some limitations and problems while you are using it. An example would be sentence arrangement question whereby students answer is same as yours but Google Form mark it as incorrect. The reason behind this problem is that Google will match your answer with your student's answer and if it is exactly 100% the same then Google will mark it as correct answer. Any additional spaces, symbols or any other stuff that is different from your answer, Google will mark it as incorrect. So today I would like to teach you on how to overcome this type of problem and without further ado, let's find out. Just go to your Google Drive or Google Classroom to set up a new quiz. So let me select Google Form to create a new quiz. I'll rename the form as Test Quiz and then proceed to set it up as usual. So I just make this a quiz and I'll start to set a sample question on sentence arrangement for example I I have a pet fish so I'll set example question to arrange sentence for I have a pet quiz I have a pet fish So this would be my correct answer. So next, I'll introduce you a way to validate students' input before it is submitted to you. So you just press on the three dots and press response validation. Click on the number and select regular expression and then use matches so this regular expressions is um, or what they call rejects helps you to validate the submission before it is submitted to you so they will check for the pattern of uh, students input in this google form and if there's any error or if the pattern doesn't match it will return an error without them able to submit this form so what pattern should you input you can go ahead to the description section below I will put the pattern down there you can just copy and paste it so uh, after that I'll explain to you what is this all about so for the custom error text you can put a help text that helps students in checking why is their input having problem so for example I, should, I, I could write up that please put a full stop and remove any additional spacing okay so once it is complete you can test this out so for example if I put I have a pet fish without a full stop I will not be able to submit even though I press the submit button so your help file your help text would show below the question so if I put a full stop yes then I can submit the, my answer so if I put any additional spaces 
it will return me error as well. So this helps to eliminate all the incorrect input and further is your job as a teacher to check on their input on whether what happened to their input since they are inputting the correct word but with additional spaces that cause Google Form to mark it as incorrect answer. So another thing is that um, the first letter or the first alphabet must be a big cap in the pattern. So if I put a small capital, I will not be able to continue as well. So you can use this pattern in all your sentence arrangement question and coming up I would like to explain to you what is that pattern all about and you can go ahead to customize the pattern according to your need. So as you can see this is the pattern that you have inputted in your Google form. So I'll explain it one by one. The carrot sign shows or uh, signifies or represents the beginning of a string or the word. So for the beginning part, I'm emphasizing that uh, every, every submitter should begin with a big cap or a capital letter. So you can see that the A to Z inside a bracket means that uh, all the possible outcomes should be inside the bracket so submitter can input any words from a, any alphabets from a to z for the first letter so the curly bracket shows that uh, how many times it can be inputted so in this case they can only input one capital letter so from A to Z, only one capital letter in the beginning of a string or the sentence. So moving forward, I have a bracket with small letter A to Z and a star sign. So the small letter A to Z inside brackets means that uh, user or submitter or students can input any character, any alphabet, small letter alphabet continue with the capital letter just now so they can put uh, capital letter capital letter uh, H and following by A V E and so on so the star signs means that this A to Z can be inputted zero times or more times more than one so they can input uh, they can even stop inputting any letter after the capital letter just now so for example I have so after I it would be a space instead of any letter so we need to use this star to make sure that it can be matched as zero instead of forcing user to match it at least one or more so following up we have a space so means that uh, any letter or any words must come with a space so the pattern will realize that oh this would be the first letter or first wording of the sentence so the whole thing will be um, duplicated by one with the curly bracket one means that the first word or the first the first word in the sentence must according to this pattern and following up I have big cap or capital letter A to Z together with a small cap or of alphabet A to Z and with a plus sign so following up after the first word of the sentence 
user can input any of the capital letter or small letter word so they can put it as a fish or I have so the have would be small letter h-a-v-e or even uh, have I so after the have the I would be a big capital letter and continue with the plus sign so the plus sign means that I will be matching one or more times of this so continue with the space so I would need to make sure that uh, every word comes with a space and if you can see the whole thing is matched with a plus sign so I can keep repeating uh, for what I have in my input so for example I have a pet fish so the first I would be matching with the first part with the curly bracket one just now and moving forward have a pet fish would be matching with this pattern so I can keep repeating uh, as many times as I want until the dot so the bracket inside the bracket will show the possibility of inputs so I put a dot there with a curly bracket one means that they would need to put a full stop for one time so if they put it multiple full stop they will be having problem in submitting and lastly the dollar sign means that indicates the end of string so with this information you can characterize or amend it to suit your need so let me know in the comment below if you have any question and i could try to help out and don't forget to subscribe us in YouTube and we also have Facebook and Instagram to show you more tips and tricks on using Google Workspace. Thank you and see you again.